Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Does Bia and Nicki Minaj have beef? Fans have been sending me this screenshot, this alleged screenshot of Bia on TikTok, and she's saying that real rap is back. Somebody commented and said, Nicki, take notes. And she liked the comment, okay? Now, it could have been an accident. You know, people can accidentally like comments. And then after you read the comment, you unlike it, and then you can actually delete it, which allegedly Bia did. And also, a few days ago, people felt like Bia was shading Nicki Minaj because she said that female rap was in a good place, okay? Which is debatable, I don't 100% agree with that, but, you know, that's her opinion. But I just want to say that I think people are expecting too much out of Bia. Because people feel like she is the closest to Nicki Minaj, which is understandable. But in the future, Bia will collaborate with other female rappers, not just Nicki Minaj. Okay, I said this before. People were upset that she was liking... Um, you know, Lotto's Instagram pictures and she's still cool with Koi Ray. She's going to be collaborating with other female rappers. Just because Nicki Minaj isn't cool with certain female rappers, that doesn't mean Bia can't be cool with them because she's her own person. Bia is frustrated. I can definitely tell that Bia wants to get more recognition. She wants to be in that conversation. She's been in the game since 2010, 2011, and she still hasn't really popped off, okay? And you see Glorilla getting the push. You see all these other female rappers getting a push and getting recognition. And I feel like, you know, Bia probably feels some type of way about that. Bia will start to move differently in the future in regards to Nicki Minaj, okay? Y'all can take that how you guys want. But I don't think it's because she dislikes Nikki. She's going to be moving differently because she wants that recognition that all these other female rappers are getting. Okay? She wants to be in that conversation. And I think that people have been pressuring um, Bia to be very loyal to Nicki Minaj. But... Just because she collaborates with other female artists, that doesn't mean she's disloyal, okay? The only collaboration she should not be doing is Cardi B because she done shade Cardi B several times and she actually used to be cool with Cardi B. Cardi B was allegedly going to be on the Whole lot of Money remix, but then Bia wanted Nicki Minaj. That's the only collaboration she definitely should not be doing in the future because that would make her fake like Megan. But I don't have an issue with Bia working with Koi or Lottery Ticket um, because at the end of the day, it's not like it's going to really do numbers anyway. And then on top of that, she's going to have to collaborate with other female rappers. I think um, a lot of the fans are expecting too much in regards to Bia, like too much loyalty expecting her to only be for Nicki Minaj. And that's unrealistic when you're in the industry, okay? You know, even Champagne Thickums collaborated with the Migos when, you know, they were dissing Nicki Minaj. You know, Lil Wayne had a collaboration with Papoose, okay, who wrote Sheether, no shade. So, you know, Bia in the future, she's going to be moving independently, Okay, um, I don't feel like it's necessary for people to be watching her every move and say, oh, is she turning on Nicki Minaj because she's her own artist. But let me know in the comments how you guys feel about the situation. You know, people kept DMing me and asking me about it. And I don't feel like Bia has to be stuck in Nicki's shadow. I just feel like she's her own person. She wants to work with other people. She should have the right to do that. And I think that's what's going to happen in the future. Speaking of um, lottery ticket, it looks like she will be joining Lizzo on tour again in 2023. Let me know how you guys feel about that. I think it's going to be a good look for lottery ticket considering that she don't really sell. At least she can use Lizzo's fan base to, you know, bring in some more sales for her music because it's not there for her. Okay. Um, she's been flopping. 
her music has been leaking. You know, she's been getting dragged by the barbs, you know, for the past few weeks now. Um, So she needs Lizzo right now. Okay, maybe Lizzo could possibly mentor her. So allegedly, Glorilla has a collaboration with Queen B. According to Key is Queen, who's like an Instagram model or something like that. Somebody sent me this, but here's what she had to say. With this lady and she was, um, she told me that Glorilla got a song with Beyonce. But she was telling me on some like, trying to impress me because she trying to tell me like how she in the industry woo woo but it's like bitch you think you impressing me whole time i and i never hire your motherfucking ass you so fucking eager to tell me the next bitch bitch the fuck bitch that she ain't no fucking cool points but yeah y'all so if y'all see you know what i'm saying go really beyonce y'all heard it here first bitch now why the hell would queen b be collaborating with glow Rilla glue Come on now. It must be Camel Face trying to sign Gorilla Glue to Rock Nation. That's the only reason why Queen Bee would be collaborating with Gorilla Glue. Like, no, 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 no. We do not need a Gorilla Glue and Beyonce collaboration. We don't need that. Gorilla Glue is always fighting the beat, always 10 miles behind the beat. And you telling me Queen Bee wants to collaborate with her? No. Uh -uh. I'm not here for it. You know, Camel Face is behind this 100%. I 100% believe that he is clout chasing and he's just trying to get her to sign to Rock Nation because Megan is not really selling. She's not on the charts at all. No shade. I'm just... I'm just seeing what I'm seeing. She's not on the charts at all. And, you know, he lost out on Doja Cat. Doja Cat was signed to Rock Nation, but, you know, he shelved her and then she left his ass. I'm not here for this type of collaboration. I think that is clout chasing, in my opinion. You're seeing an artist get a buzz and you hopping on that bandwagon. Okay. Um, And that's Camel Face, this is not directed towards Queen Bee. Camel Face is behind us 100% if this is true. As soon as Meg signed to Rock Nation, she got a Queen Bee collaboration. As soon as J. Cole signed to Rock Nation, Queen Bee collaboration. As soon as DJ Khaled signed to Rock Nation, Queen Bee collaboration. He always uses Queen Bee to lure an artist. He always do that. I peeped that 100%. Every time he was an artist, he uses Queen Bee because he knows everybody loves Queen Bee. Everybody loves Beyonce. But that's whack. Speaking of Queen Bee, um, Rihanna said that she would want Queen Bee to be in her next Savage X Fenty um, fashion show. She wants Queen Bee in some Fenty lingerie. I would not mind. But I don't know if Queen Bee would really do that unless Rihanna um, decides to put on some Ivy Park. <laughs> I don't think Beyonce don't do it unless Rihanna wants to put some Ivy Park on and they do like a swap. But I would love to see it because, you know, she said Beyonce got body. That is fact. You know, Beyonce got a nice ass body. I don't care if it's real or fake. She got the best surgery in the game. So I think Queen Bee should do it for an Ivy Park um, commercial with Rihanna in it or a song. Rihanna, you got to do a song with Queen Bee or you got to put on some Ivy Park. Which one will it be? (laughs) You got to put on some Ivy Park or you got to do a song with Queen Bee? (laughs) Pick your voice (laughs) I'm just laughing because I know that Rihanna don't want to do music and she probably does not like Ivy Park. So she just, (laughs) it'd be hilarious. Doja Cat rants on social media again, okay? Because fans are saying that she is not funny for tweeting C-O-C-K every other day, okay? Or tweeting fart or putting fart as her username on Twitter, so um, she is going back and forth with fans on social media like she's 11 faces. And this is what I have to say about Doja. It's like, I don't really understand why she has to respond to everything on social media now. She used to never be like this. It's like 
over the years, she's become more and more like 11 Faces. It's like, girl, you don't have to respond to everything. And no, you're not funny. I don't get into Doja Cat's sense of humor. I like her as an artist, but I don't like her as a um, social media person or I don't care for her personality. And honestly, I really wish I could block Doja Cat. But just in case she goes off one day and it's like really, really big or if she decides to go off on Dr. Luke, I need to see that in 3D. But um, I really hate her social media presence and I agree she's not funny. Anyway, um, make sure you guys check out my Patreon, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and have an amazing day.